What's up you guys, Eddie Fliptronics. So I'm going to be helping you guys troubleshoot if your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi. So I actually had this happen the other day, you guys, and it's happened to me in the past, and there's usually a few different things I do to troubleshoot the problem. Um, as you guys are watching, I would appreciate a like and a share on this too. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do is go into your settings, click on Wi-Fi, and then check the network you're connected to. What you guys want to do is click forget this network. Uh, at that point, restart your iPhone, you'll have to re-enter the password to you know, connect to whatever Wi-Fi you're trying to, but that can usually solve the problem. Another thing that uh, you know kind of works is just a simple restart. Sometimes your iPhone overheats after it's been on for too long, you know, anywhere from 150 to 200 hours straight. You'll start to get certain glitches, so try doing that. Um, another thing you guys could try to do is go into your settings, uh, click on uh, general, scroll down to reset, and then click uh, reset network settings. So this will pretty much do the same thing, but it'll clear out your, uh, you know, your Wi-Fi and all that stuff. So I mean, it's not going to delete anything else. It's just going to, you know, get rid of your network settings, which is your Wi-Fi. So um, try doing that. Another thing you guys could try doing is an iOS update. If you're due for any kind of iOS update, it might fix a, uh, you know, a software glitch that's, you know, causing the problem. You could obviously try restarting your uh, modem and router, which is another obvious one. But other than that, you guys one of those should work for you. Also make sure you're entering the right password when you're trying to connect to Wi-Fi. Sometimes when you enter a wrong password, it'll connect for a little bit, like a minute or so, and then it'll disconnect and try to connect to another network. So make sure you're putting in the right password to begin with too. And you know, you guys try turning your iPhone off for a few minutes. I mean, it could just be the overheating issue. Like I said, just leave it off for a few minutes, see if that gets the problem fixed. But anyways, you guys, like I said, I would appreciate a like and a share on this. You guys, I hope it helps you out. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.